Before I choose which agent I want to sell my house, Mr. Agent, I'd like to ask you, what will you do that no other agent does that will get me competing bidders on my house in the shortest possible time? That's the question. If you only ask a state agent one question when they come around to value your house, that is the question. And you should listen to their answer really carefully and take notes on it. And if they start reeling things off that other agents do, say, no, no, other agents do that. My question was, what will you do that other agents won't do? What's different about you as an agent? No, don't tell me about all the websites you're on. Everyone says that. I want to hear what you do that no one else does that makes you stand out better than the other agents. That's what I need to know because in this market, it's been it's harder to sell a house in this market than it has been for a very long time. So that's the most important. If you haven't got time to watch the rest of this video, that is the number one question that you should ask an agent when selling a house. And listen carefully to the answer and actually make notes of the answer so you can listen, just read it back and, and, and satisfy yourself whether or not they've actually answered your question because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for an agent that will actually give you a compelling and believable answer to that question, what they will do that other agents won't do. And don't forget to ignore the gimmicks. Oh, we're going to get drone footage of your house. Well, that's nice. And I'm not saying that isn't a good thing to do, but that's, that's not a compelling reason to choose one agent over another. If you wanted to break that question down into its component parts of what's important, I would be asking the following question. How will you present my property better than other agents? Right? What will you do to make my property look better than the other properties I'm competing with to sell? Why will you make my home look better in the marketing than the others? Okay, so how are they going to present your house? That's number one. And by the way, don't listen to what they say about your property in the description. No one ever reads the descriptions. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time, right? All the fluff and rubbish and bollocks they put. That's just to satisfy vendors who think that it's important. But truly, it doesn't matter. What matters is the quality of the photographs and the overall quality of presentation of the house, okay? And if they say to you, well, I'm going to need your cooperation to make the house look as presentable as possible. You should say, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm prepared to do whatever I need to, to maximize the quality of the marketing property. So number one, how will you make my home look better than other agents would make it look, right? This is, we're breaking it down into the, into the, the other questions. Secondly, and this is arguably um, the most important single thing of the, of the list of stuff that I'm doing, they're all... They're all critical parts, but this is arguably the most important part. How will you determine the asking price that we launch the property at to get the maximum number of inquiries without underpricing it too much? How will, not what, uh, so the question, you're not asking them what price will they market it at, you're asking them how will they arrive at that price? You want to hear their explanation of how they will work out and calculate the optimum price to launch your property in the market, which is arguably the most important single step in the whole process of getting competing buyers, is working out the sweet spot of the price where it's not too high and it's not too low. It's that, And really good agents will know how to do that. So listen to their answer about how they will determine the price. Not what is the price, how will they work it out and see if it's credible. So that's the second uh, sub-question, okay? First one, marketing, how will you make it look? Second, how will you price it? The third question. Um, I could go into lots of detail now about what they do about getting off-market inquiries. It depends on the property. I'm not going to go into that now. That's too detailed. But the third thing is... Um, Assuming that they do start to get competing bids on your home, and if they're a good agent, they will, and if you don't get competing bids on your home, you have not gone with the right agent. Assuming they do, I would then be asking, how will you qualify the buyers who are who are bidding on our home? How will you qualify the buyers? How will you make certain they're not flaky buyers that are gonna change their mind? How are you gonna make certain they're not gonna get trapped in a chain? How? How, what are you looking for when you're qualifying the buyers? In other words, how well qualified are the buyers? Because well qualified buyers massively improve the chances of a seamless transaction, okay? Well, how will you qualify the buyers? 
That's the, the third sub question. And then the last sub question will be what is your sales progression process that makes sure we minimize the chance of the deal falling through because of flaky, slow conveyances or surveys or lenders or all of that. So all the things that can derail a transaction, right? Search packs. All what is your sales progression process? And that's a very good question to ask because all agents do it differently. And if they sort of go, oh, don't worry about that. We, no, no, no. I do worry about that. I'm very worried about that. That's why I'm asking you about it because that in this market is arguably the most important thing. I don't want you to get me an offer on my house uh, and I get the offer agreed just to then sit in the long grass wondering what's happening and then find out my deal's fallen through. Do not fold me off with don't worry about my sales progression. I am absolutely worried about my sales progression and I want to know how you do it. Um, the options are, the person might say, I will personally oversee it myself. I will be on top of it to make sure it goes through. Some of them might say, we have a specialist in-house team that does nothing but sales progression. Um, and if that's true, I would ask more questions about that. Some agents say, will we outsource to a specialist who does nothing but sales progression? That's often a very good thing, okay? Because often those outsourced sales progressors only get paid on success. So that's that's a good thing to hear. Um, so just ask them about the process because you need to explain to them that you understand that in this current climate, getting a, an agreed sale over the line is incredibly hard work. All right. So just a quick recap. If you've only got one question to ask an estate agent, it's what will you do that none of the other agents will do that will get me my house sold sooner at the best price than any other agents will do? And the sub questions are, how will you present my property to make it look best? How will you calculate the optimum asking price to put it on at? How will you qualify the buyers? And what is your sales progression process? And don't worry about whether you need to know what the answers to those questions are or not, but ask yourself how you feel about how comprehensively they've answered those questions before you choose. And don't ever, ever let an agent sign you up on the spot tell them to go away you're going to sleep on it and never sign a long-term sole agency contract you're the customer they need you more than you need them okay because you've got a choice they haven't they have if they want to sell your house that they, they've got to go with your terms you can go to lots of other agents so never believe that oh i'm sorry policy we have a long time no okay not interested do not sign a long-term sole agency lock-in agreement whatever happens okay if they if they complain and say well look you know i don't want to invest lots of money and, and time in your property just for you to change your mind no no that's not what i'm saying i need to sell my house i'm saying that i don't want to be locked into someone who's not impressing me with their service keep me impressed with your service i'll stay with you all right guys i hope that's helpful good luck any questions pop them in the comments below see you on the next one Bye bye